Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to sort and filter data in a query in Microsoft Access 2016. Now what is a query? A query is basically used to retrieve a rows or columns from a same table or from different tables. Now whenever I run a query, you can further modify the fields by applying a sort. Now a sort can be uh, from A to Z manner or from Z to A manner. Similarly, we can apply some filters to it. Now whenever I want a filters to be applied, it's a good choice when you want a temporary limit to a query result. Whenever I want a specific result to be mentioned or to display at my screen, at that time I will use a filter query. Now in this particular uh, event, we, are, we do not have to go to the design view. All the time when we have already learned that whenever I want to filter something, I usually go to the design view. But this time, if, if we are running a query, we can run a filter by just going to edit your query and without going to the design form of it. We'll get a better understanding of sorting and filtering a query in our practical approach. In this video, we are going to learn how to sort and filter data in Microsoft Access 2016. Now in our previous video, we learned how to sort and filter data in a table. Now in this video, we are going to learn how to sort and filter data in a query. Alright, so let's try to understand it how it is done. So I will be needing a, a database. So I'm using the same database that we have used in our previous videos. Alright, so let's move to the navigation pane. As we are talking about a query, I'll be needing a query table. Alright, so I'll move to the query tab. And as you can see, I have multiple queries table out here. I'll select the very first one that is cakes and pie sold. And as you can see, I've selected this one and I have this table ready with me. Now, let's try to understand what is this uh, table is talking about so out here I have the product types so I have cakes cookies and you can see I have cupcakes pastries and I have pies similarly I have the product name the sales unit and the sum of quantity alright so I have this table now this is in a data sheet view alright so I need to go in the design view how I do that as I have told you in my previous video I can go to the view tab and from here I can select design view or I can go to the navigation pane and I can select any uh, table I will simply right click on the table and I'll click on design view now as you can see there is a, a table relationship which can be seen by this uh, arrows out here and I have this ta uh, table ready with me which has the product types product name uh, the sales unit and the order all right let me close this navigation pane so that I have a better clarity of it all right now uh, let's try to understand how I sort and filter data in a query now in my previous video I told you I can sort a data according to ascending or descending now let me show it to you again how it is done uh, I'll simply move to the sort field out here you can see everyone I'll click on this drop down menu and I say that I want to uh, want the table to be in descending manner all right so I'll just select descending and see what happens so I have selected this as descending I will go to the result tab and I'll simply hit on run the moment I click here now do you see uh, our table was starting with cakes now it is starting with pies as it is in a descending manner right perfect so this is how it can be done now let's get back to the design form all right so I'm going go into the view tab and then I'll click on design view now let's sort this data in a de descending manner this is how I can do it for each and every field right if I go to the drop down menu I have this option for each and every field now let's not sort anything now this is how sorting is done now let's talk about filtering a data perfect so I will go to this criteria it is basically asking me what should be the criteria for your filters so this is uh, how it is done I'll show you so let's say I'll first show you the data sheet view of it now let's say that I want uh, the result table to be just for cakes all right so my criteria out here would be cakes so how I input this criteria let's have a look so again I'll go to the design view and under this criteria tab I will type cakes in double inverted commas so it will consider this as my criteria and it will only give me the table sheet in only with cakes as my criteria let's see what happens I'll select 
the run option and I'll hit run button now as you can see the product type is just giving me the result for just cakes and the rest of the details all right so this is how you can apply filter in a query let's try to uh, learn more about it I will again go to the design view now as of now I have just applied one criteria that is cakes right now let's go and apply a different criteria if I want two criteria to be added in the same field I will go to the or all right so now in the or I will type let's say pies I want for cakes and pies right so I'll use pies in double inverted commas and let's see what happens when I click on run so I'll simply hit on run now as you can see on the table I have cakes and pies together with me so this is how I can set a criteria so this is how it is done I will again go to the design tab and try to explore a little bit more now this time let's say that I will apply the criteria in two different fields right so let's keep it as um, cakes itself or let's keep it as pie it doesn't matter okay done and now I want the product type to be a single right let's see what will happen if I say now I'll show you what is single I'll go to the design tab data sheet view now you can see there are some uh, product name which are single now there are many multiple things let me remove this criteria so that you get a entire view of the sheet I'll hit on run now as you can see the sales unit are single I have dozen I have half dozen but I want only those records which are of let's say single right so it will only pick out uh, pick those records which are just single or we can pick any criteria from the list I want to right so let's try to apply two different criteria that it should be for cakes and it should be single in sales unit all right so again I'll move to the design tab I say the criteria should be cakes that's that was the criteria right cakes and it should be sorted by the sales unit it should be sorted by let's say single right so I'm applying this criteria just hit on run and boom I have this results I have the product type as cakes and I have sales in as single so this is how you can apply multiple filters in different fields and you can get the result according to your own filters right so let's go to the design tab so out here I can apply different different criteria it can be for name it can be for numbers the way you wish to so this was all about how to sort and filter data in query